Welcome to how to set up a Docker container with a static IP address. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how easy this is to do on GNS3. All right, so our first step is going to be dragging and dropping an Ubuntu Docker container onto our topology here. I already have the NAT cloud set up and just a basic Ethernet switch that comes by default with GNS3 now when you download it and install it. So just real quick, I will show you. All right, so here is the Ubuntu Docker guest. This will be on there by default. And then the switch will be this Ethernet switch right here. So I've dragged and dropped on those and uh, I've just used the connector tool to connect them. So Docker guest. And I do have snap to grid enabled right there. So that's how I get the even spacing and make everything line up. And I'll connect Ethernet zero to Ethernet one. And then I'm gonna click on here to start all nodes. And since we only have one, it's only gonna impact that one. I'm gonna deselect the connector tool. The next thing I'm gonna do is open the console for all nodes, which is just gonna be only one. So I'm gonna put in IF config and we can see that we do not have an IP address. All right, so now in order to configure a static IP address, I'm going to use the nano editor in the interfaces folder. So if you wanna configure it statically or dynamically, it basically gives you the template in order to do this. So I'm just gonna uncomment this out. Put in our DNS server first. And I'm just gonna give it the dot .35 in this subnet. And I know that the default gateway of the NAT cloud is gonna be that IP address. And then I'm just gonna hit Control X. It's gonna ask me to save, so I'm gonna hit Y. In that folder, yes, hit Enter. And in order to get it to take that interface configuration, I'm going to stop and start it. Opening up the console. All right, now we can see with IF config that we now have an IP address. And you can also see that we can ping out to the internet and hit our DNS server. And we're also able to resolve domain names. All right, that pretty much wraps up this video. Of course, it is a part of a larger Linux for Network Engineers series. So you should check that out too if it interests you. If you found this helpful, consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.